Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Lilia in the jungle consistently with the best build right now. For your best build and runes, take Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Coup de Grasse. Don't go for Dark Harvest. It's not quite worth it right now. The only time you go Dark Harvest is if you don't really have the option to play Frontline at all because they have too much hard point and click CC. Like at, let's say an Annie or a Malzahar, they absolutely don't have that. Their, mo their skill shots are their hard CC and we can dance around that. For secondary runes, we have free boots with cosmic, double EP, and armor. Looks like they invade my bot side jungle. My teammates didn't get any wards down, so I'll have to start on my red buff. Kind of unfortunate. I'm actually not going to reset. In the current meta, you don't want to swap off to oracles early on, because oracles cooldown at the moment is too high compared to warding totem. So you're better, better off just holding on to warding totem and not getting rid of it. For our build, we're not going to be rushing demonic first, because we don't get ability haste out of that, even though it is a better first item rush than Leandre's. Instead, I'm actually going to be pushing for a cosmic for the 30 ability haste. It might seem strange, because you're missing out on the max health burn. The thing is, people are only so tanky early on anyways. They don't really have items yet. So by missing out on the early max health burn, it's not a big deal. And with the 30 ability haste, you'll actually be clearing your camps faster than if you went for a demonic or Leandre's. So don't worry too much about that and you might say well leandre's gives ability haste too it does not as much on top of that leandre's doesn't give as much ap and on top of that leandre's doesn't give movement speed so you'll be getting to your camp slower and you'll be having worse ganks so even though it seems kind of counterproductive why go cosmic first it's actually best now if you want to do turret dives you can make the argument for a demonic because it gives you the hp but either way you slice it Leandre's is 200 more gold than either Demonic or Cosmic. So it, it just makes it very hard to recommend <laughs> the uh, Leandre's over either of them. That being said, second item rush, we are going to be going for Demonic. The most important ability haste is your first 30. Everything after that starts to peter out really hard and has a very bad conversion rate, of like less than 30-40%. But your first 20 30 ability haste it's like a 90 percent conversion rate to cdr so that's why if you're going to go for free boots that means you have delayed lucids or you don't even have the options to go early lucids therefore your first item kind of needs to give you ability haste otherwise you're really are missing out especially on a champion like lilia where you want to stack your prance as fast as possible early ability haste is absolutely critical and that's ex Exactly what we're going to be doing. Loss of ability haste. They have a Cho'Gath jungle. That's pretty fun. I like playing Cho'Gath jungle. I also like playing versus it. Down he goes. Looks like we have access to double scuttle potentially here. Lily's full clear finishes round 315, 320. Basically full HP. A lot of times you'll end up ganking off of scuttles since you'll get all your prance off of them. Q into W, we hit Q tipper, then W center. W center does triple damage, and Q tipper does basically double damage. So you really want to land those tips. <clears throat> I'm going to ghost for this. I'm not going to be able to get anything apparently, though. They reacted very quickly, I will say. They reacted very, very fast. That's all right. <clears throat> Even if we don't get anything off that. We can still make something happen over here. Get my W down. Smite him out. Get him with the E. Lux is going to have to rotate. I'm full Conqueror stacks right now, and I'm healing off the Cho'Gath. Applying passive to champions or monsters heals you on Lilia. It looks like both my teammates died. Very cool. Get him with the W into a Q. I'm on three Prance here. I also have a little bit of Conqueror stacked up. That almost hit. Got her with the E. I still am on a little bit of Prance, so I should be able to make it out just fine. That was a really nasty fight. Oof, the Kali's rotating. I need to get some Prance up. I'll throw an E out past this. Looks like she was trailing it a bit. We have two Prance crossover. We could back right now, pick up a big chunk of Cosmic, but uh, we're kind of on our camps anyway, so I'll go ahead and finish where I started. Lilia, it's not really possible to die in your jungle, because like I said, whenever you hit a monster or champion, you get a big chunk of healing back. It's the only thing that keeps her alive. Without it, she's not viable. 
Just try to keep your prance up. <laughs> Minions monsters are the easiest way to do it. Since they're everywhere. Throwing out a long range E to hit something right as you're about to kind of run out of prance is a decent way of doing it. Is he really not going to die? What an absolute cheater. What a... Okay, alright. Raptor just wants double servings, I guess. Let's smite him out. I hate how you can't pull camps very much anymore. <laughs> it used to be so much fun pulling it basically from one camp to the other. If you can still kind of do it. It gets easier the further along you are in the game. More pops the double. Yeah, these guys are in trouble. Even with their winning bot lane, that's not going to be easy to come back from. Let's go ahead and pick up some, some juicy stuff here. Got some movement speed. I'm actually not going to buy control word. I want to keep as much gold as possible on me. Can Cosmic Next back will be huge. Getting an additional 16 movement speed from Aether Whisper, which is pretty close to tier 1 boots. Not bad. 30 AP. Really like that item. I'll go back bot when I'm level 6 again. Until I'm 6, there's kind of no point. Pull this out a bit. Keep our prance up. I'll ghost for this. I, I have my R. We want to get a double Q into R here. Get her with the W while she's asleep. Wake her up. I'll attack Q. My abilities were all on cooldown, so I might as well wake her up. Whenever you wake them up, they take a big chunk of damage. So it's better to wake them up with an auto than to let them wake up naturally if you're fighting them to the death. They suffer immensely when you wake them up. Ghost is better for Lilia, typically. If they have cage abilities, like Jarvan Cage, Yorick Cage, Vague Cage, then you need to go for Flash, otherwise Ghost is best. We get her with a W. Try to get her with a Q there, couldn't quite find it. I want to get some Prance. I know I'm on a ward. This is actually hilarious. Got off the Q-Tipper, auto into an E. Beautiful. Very nice, Tristan is rotating. I'm gonna move away from that. And try to keep some Prance up. Toss this over the wall, alley-oop. Alley-oop myself, <laughs> solo alley-oop. <laughs> auto attack Q. We can push back into Cho jungle. You don't invade the enemy jungler typically unless you know where they are. Since Lilia doesn't have the best single target damage in the early game. Since we're so far ahead of Cho and he's such an incredibly mobile jungler. It makes it very easy to get away with. A Cho gas jungle, Malphite jungle. Anything like that. Or I mean even a Ramus. You can kind of get away with Sedge as well. As long as your Prance is up you can outdance these kind of tanky junglers. Dang, this thing will not die. My R is on a cooldown, but I have my free boots and a bunch of prants. I get it up off this right here. Auto attack E auto. Yep, he's in this right here. Oh, and I got it. I'm going to go over the wall to be able to see him auto attack into a W. He kind of dodges it. I'm just going to smite him out. Popped her away. She can't keep up at that point. That got really awkward. I wanted to hit them both with a double R, but I couldn't really hit the Akali with anything with the way she was spacing. I think she burned her R for that. Pretty sure. Yeah, Lux is hovering mid right now. What a butthole. Absolute stinker. I'll continue the clear here. My R's up, so I do not want to back. I have red buff healing me. I can heal off these camps as well. So I'll, st I'll stick around. Look for a big R maneuver. No reason to really reset here. Auto attack Q. Auto W. 
A lot of times when you go and you sleep somebody, you'll hit him with an EW combo because your E has a more of a travel time than your W. You can't cast while you're in the middle of your W. Bot lane's getting hairy. You max W second E last because E per level doesn't get a lower cooldown. W gets a much higher damage and a lower cooldown. I have up all my Prance. We're going to smite this. I'm going to Ghost keep up my Prance here. I'll just sleep the Lux. It's fine. We'll drop a big fat W on her head. W into Q. I'm on Ghost Extensions. Cho'Gath can't get away. It's impossible. Toss out an E. And he's got nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere. That's free dragon. Lily does best against the mobile melee champs. Alawis, Malphites, Mordekaisers. I wouldn't say Rammus is a mobile, but versus the Lilia, he kind of is. Because he needs people to stand still and auto attack him. And Lilia, she's basically a range champ, even though she's coded as a melee. The only reason why Riot changed her to be quote unquote melee is so she can get full value out of demonic. Because certain items give... Their passives are nerfed for technically ranged champs, and that when they when that happened, it made her not viable. So then they swapped her back to being quote unquote melee. Even though obviously she's essentially a ranged champ. Got her with the Q, we get the little shimmer. I don't really want to fight this here. I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. I mean, even if we can get around the map at 383 because I have free boots, free boots are faster than other boots. It's one nice thing about going for the free boots is just get hella fast. Against their team, I'm honestly down for Lucids. Well, actually, well, you know, it is a tough call sometimes. <laughs> we'll push for Demonic next because we don't have any HP going. Leandre's next would be awkward. Plus, the Leandre passive is low-key dog crap. Five ability haste. Woo! The mythic passive for me having a cosmic drive is an extra five ability haste. That's terrible. I'd much rather have demonic at the 200 cheaper gold price. You still do end up going for Leandre's just because it synergizes well with Lilia passive. We'll pull this out a bit. Keep our prance up. I went for a really long range Q. Couldn't find it. You're going to smite him into W so he can't juke. And then he flashed, but <laughs> at least we got our smite on him, right? Just trying to keep up some prance here. Like, for example, here I could throw it over the wall into the Herald Pit. Oh, I missed him. Dang it. I needed to find a better angle. <laughs> needed to shoot it from, like, here over. Because I just lost all my prance. Hey, Cho'Gath, get him with a Q, R, you slow it, I'll land my W for free, wait on my cooldowns, hit him with the Q. Wow, Auction did a very small amount of damage there. I need to get back into the jungle for mana regeneration, we're getting 17 back per second since I'm so low on mana. Enemy 80 carry is missing and it's making me a little bit nervous. Hmm, do I get a kill here? Oh, I couldn't find it. I'm such in such a dumb spot. Like, I'd probably die. This enemy bot lane isn't here. Thank goodness. I am in such a bad spot. Another point toward W. I'll push this towards the bot lane now. I think I need to rush out and help. Yeah, I'll go for this. Get the Q auto. Auto W, because we need to make sure she actually commits to a certain direction first. No, I'm going to die. Ooh, psych, I'm too fast. I need to get some mana back. We'll get in the river jungle area. Ju the jungle or river area both give you a bunch of mana back due to your jungle item. I am on all three prants now. I don't think he can keep up here appropriately. Oh, he's going to smite it. I mean, I'm getting a lot of mana regen here, buddy. This is not going to end well for you, I can assure you. Cho'Gath gets the kill. I'm o I mean, uh, Mord gets the kill. I'm okay with that. 
They don't necessarily have anywhere to go. We kind of have them pinched in theory. I'm just trying to get my health up. Using up all my mana for it, though. Back up to 150. I'm going to hover here. Fish for the E and I found it. I'm going to tank as long as I can and I run out. Maybe not as long as I can, but for a while. Get this slow onto a Kali. I'll go ahead and back off here. Really fast, man. I love Cosmic. It feels so freaking good on Lilia. First item. It's cheaper than Leandre's. Gives you more AP than Leandre's. <laughs> gives you more ability haste than Leandre's. Uh... Yeah, it's like keep going for demonic here. I can't buy anything. My items are folded in on me. If I could get my prance up, I know for a fact Garen cannot get away. If I land this, he he's gonna queue to cleanse my slow. I can get smite on him. Oh, he's in trouble. He's slowed, we land QW. I think I actually missed W there. I could have held it for a little bit longer to close distance. There it is. Drop W right here. Bada boom. Down you go. We did run kind of low on mana there towards the end, but still, we were spamming like crazy. We can go back into the jungle and get it up real quick. No one gets it up quicker than, than Lilia can, let me tell you. It's because she can run back in the jungle so fast with her movement speed from the prance on, um, on her passive. Is that her passive or is that her Q? Dream Dust passive. I don't know where technically the Prance comes from. I just know it's there and I know exactly what it does and how it works. I don't, I don't know which ability they technically hide it under. Should be on the passive, but it just doesn't specifically say. Weird. A little bit low on juice here. I have just enough. Blue jungle item as well. That's a double R because I hit them both there. Okay, that's not good. Garen hit me with a big R. Okay, we got demonic now. We'll push for a Leandre's. A call I definitely caused some issues there. She got some damage on me. I should not have woken up Garen. I should have just played around bushes with my blue jungle item and gone crazy fast. That would have been by far my best move. I'm a little confused how we're losing these fights so hard because they, they're they not getting much value out of a few players on their team. And everyone on my team is like doing fine enough. Ward's popping off here. I, was, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get there in time, so I'll just get my stacks up and we can look for something. Auto attack and the Q is the standard since your Q tipper barely outranges your autos. If you can reach something with an auto, you can reach it with a Q tipper. I need to be more patient on that R. I could have gotten a huge one. If just hitting anyone and you put your passive on him, doing max health burn, you can pop him with R. So I could have hit two people with a Q, then two more people with another ability, two more people with another ability, just hitting their whole team. My R is about to be up. I got the bush here, put the bush speed up. Lux got me with her nonsense. I kind of need to heal off this real quick. There's a Sona Hill. Got it with the Smite. I need to get to the bush. Ooh, I got the Lux. Let's get her with a W centered. Run around her. Get her with the Q auto. Get her with another auto. Flick an E over the wall. Got something on the Garen there. My W kind of missed, but I'm still really, really fast. Nice. Yeah, that's GG's. I love this build so much. <laughs> I'm so fast. We'll go ahead and swap the stats so you guys can actually see how fast. Okay, they quit. That was really fun. We'll go ahead and do a part two. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time I went for green jungle item because they have things we cannot simply escape. For example, Jarvan. If he dashes in with his EQ combo and then R's us, there's absolutely nothing I can do to outplay it, even if I'm moving at 900 movement speed. It's no way to outplay it. And then at that point, once I'm inside the cage, Shen could taunt me. 
Um, we get hit by Jinx Snare, Senna Snare, Annie Stun, etc. So having extra tenacity, extra survivability is going to feel good this game. Plus just the Annie Raw Stun on Q. It, it's a heat sinking missile, so you can't really get away from it. Therefore, might as well go Green Jungle item. Blue isn't going to provide that much value unless we're ridiculously patient, but my team isn't tanky enough. Renata was uh, a bit of an iffy support. We don't have a proper front line compared to a Jarvan uh, Shen, so it'll, it should be a fun game. should be competitive. We're going to start out with a Q-Tipper auto attack. Kite it out towards Draven. can get an easy double spinning axe. You always want to give Draven the easy double spinning. If he's good, he'll take the double spinning. If he's bad, he won't. So yeah, he's bad. <laughs> he didn't want to go into lane with double spinning, I guess. Maybe he didn't want to push. That could be the case. Because when you're holding double spinning on Draven, it is just so easy to push. You're trying to maintain it, catching him. Therefore, you have to auto. Renata, I don't think roams too much either, so probably not that much value hard shoving with a Renata. Or he's pushing very hard very early. She's building up quite the HP lead. Queued on the way over. We got our E ready. Throw it over the wall right about there. It's more important that it hits the big one than anything else. So even if it misses the small ones, it doesn't really matter. The small ones will all die from our passive burn and from uh, just the AoE on the abilities in general. Auto attack E. You should still try to kite out your camps. Just stand in one spot. It's a very bad habit to stand still in League or just like in real life. Unless you're trying to hide from a predator that picks up on movement or something. <laughs> something really obscure. Don't do that against a black bear though. They'll literally just eat you. Black bears love it when you try to play dead. It's kind of their thing. Anyways, so we finished our full clear round 315, basically full HP, standard Lilia stuff. We have four Prance because we yanked it out. Missed the E, that's alright. I want to keep my Prance up, so I'm going to go ahead and nick the minion there just a little bit. Or he got first blood, that's huge. We're going to auto attack W. I already have this auto attack Q. Jarvan's kind of screwed here because I have a bunch of Prance and I have Conqueror as well. Auto attack Q. Auto attack, walk him down. Auto. Ooh, Annie's there. I wasn't really expecting that. I, I already know Jarvan's going to come over here. Get him with the Q. Down you go. I have four Prance still, so... I don't know why Annie's turning here at all. She doesn't have the damage to kill me. EW. Get her with the Q. Ooh, missed my Q. That sucks. That was so, 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 so close. Bad boot, she was dead. But basically, she's low damage right now. She doesn't have Tibbers. And we're healing a lot from passive. Whenever you hit large jungle monsters, big raptor, red buff, blue buff, dragons, or champions, you get a big heal. So there's no way she can kill us there. We're on four stack. Prance. Let's go for that cosmic. Kind of like, well... I have a weird amount of gold to where I can't really buy what I want to buy, so I guess I'll just buy a control ward and a either whisper for the movement speed. Get an extra 16 movement speed, very similar to having tier 1 boots. It's about uh, 9 movement speeds slower. Jax is even farming top, and he's getting defecated on. Mid lane is not going well for her right now. That little maneuver she played put her super far behind, trying to kill me. Killing a 4 stack. <laughs> Lilia's fool's errand. It's a lot like chasing a singed who has tier 2 boots. There's just no point. There's more harm than good. Okay, so he did get that. Go ahead and leave that right there. Throw this over the wall. Q into the centered W. Yeah, and he's screwed. Or he's level 6. Or he must be sitting on a lot of gold because they're tied items right now. She has blue buff as well. Wait, oh yeah, she kind of kill stole the Jarvan a little bit. 
I definitely could have soloed him. I wish I had gotten the kill. Oh well. We'll full clear this into the gank. Always full clear gank on Lilia pre-6. Doing a bunch of random ganks and slicing up your clears. It's going to delay your level 6 dramatically. You'll be falling behind constantly. Oh, Shen Ard for that? Or he basically just 1v3'd and got a kill. Jack should really push there. He's making a big mistake. Or he gets the double. See if I can find some theft here. Yep, this is up. Pulled out a little bit. Jarvan may come over here. His red buff is coming up. So if I wasn't on a ward, I doubt he'd even bother to come over here. Gromp does so much damage. He's so annoying. Hit him center. Smite it down. Level 6. Pre-7 min mark. Not bad, because I haven't done much this game. This is a relatively early level 6 for not really sharing my many minions. She's dead if I hit her with a single ability. All I need is one ability and she's literally dead. Because I can weave my R in off of it. But I'm running out of mana. Uh, I thought she was going to run back towards her to use it as block. But she ran the other way. I guessed wrong. I could go bot here. I'm level 6. Mm, not now. Nah, never mind. They're full, full health. Not much I can do against them at the moment. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there. I'm a little worried about Jarvan coming over here. He may have just gone to Dragon, but Renata's is missing, so she's either on Dragon or coming to kill me right now. Oh, Jarvan's top side. I have no clue why Renata's over here. Or uh, Senna. She's just being greedy, I guess. She's looking for the flash over the wall. Draven's gonna flash. I'm fine with him getting the kill. Because the thing is, he has his um, adoration stacks or whatever. Even if he has zero adoration, I still think he gets an extra 25 gold or something. So yeah, red buffs down. J4 path top. This is free drag. Flame drag is one of the most important dragons you can get. When you have Robin on champs and a crit champ on your team. Draven's obviously the crit champ. And me and Orianna at some point in our build are both going to pick up a Robin on, most likely. I don't have smite, so I can't really... Uh, Smite it. It's kind of how that works. I'll be backing for full cosmic drive here by the end of this clear. My R is on cooldown, so I don't really have to look for a gank. Jarvan's going to be top or mid. If I was Jarvan, I would go... I would think about going for Jax, but Jax is scary because he blocks autos. He's also level 8. He wouldn't grasp Jax, huh? Maybe that's a matchup thing with the Shen. Take really short trades. I would much rather have Lethal Tempo for Jax for the scaling, because Grass doesn't really scale on him at all. Do not want to reset this yet. I still have to cross over. Ooh, that's a big wave. Shen's pushing a big fatty. That's guaranteed going to be a half-decent gank if I just head over. Pop this with my E. Keep up the prance. Yeah, that's exactly what I knew. I knew he would do that because he had the mini advantage. We'll use W because he's stunned. Auto smite. Auto Q. Down he goes. We threw it on the minion because minions can't juke and the minion was closer. So my E had a shorter travel time. We could AoE it into him. Off of the minion there. I didn't go ghost this game because the Jarvan cage, you don't take ghost versus J4s, Vigars, Yorks. It's a bad idea. You get held inside, you can't really play the game. I'll reset here in a moment. I can pick up Cosmic. We're going super fast. But I also want to get Tier 2 Boots. So I kind of have to stay on the map, I guess. I'll go top lane. I'll let Shen push it up a bit. 
Oh, Jax is backing. I guess he's going to use his TP. That's fine, I guess. Dragon's not even coming up, so I don't have to go bot side for a while. I feel like I should save my smite for the gank. <laughs> so <laughs> make this so much faster, though. Literally a single target damage early on is not that good. Okay, we're on four prance. Pulled it out. No flash QR. I used my W a little early there. Auto attack Q. Down he goes. We burnt a lot for it, but it's kind of worth it. Jack should really come over here. I want him to get these, so I'll just let them go through. I don't really need the gold because I, I can get what I want. I can get cosmic plus tier two boots, which is exactly what I wanted. Jax gets, in theory, first turret gold here. Shen loses two waves of minions. It's really good for us. Uh, yeah, I guess I could go Lucid's here. Your first 30, 40 ability haste is the most important because the conversion is so solid. On the first 20, I believe 20 ability haste converts to like 18. The first, your first 20 ability haste converts to like 17% cooldown reduction, which is really good. And then your first 50 converts to 33. That's like as good as it gets. Like at this point, more ability haste, sure it helps, but Riot makes it give such little returns that you don't necessarily have to look for it. But right now we're kind of in the sweet spot in terms of maximizing our CDR. Missed him with the E, got him with the Q. Kind of can't even see that flag. Oh, I'm dead. That's really That really sucks. I took so much damage there. I thought that was already the Jarvan flag on the ground. I don't know what that was. I thought I already saw it, but apparently that was something else. I don't know what it was. It was this red kind of beacon, but it wasn't his flag apparently. That's the joys of League of Legends skins and not being able to turn them off from your perspective. It's kind of hard to tell what's happening. Down goes the Jarvan. At least we don't miss out on Dragon. I'll probably have to pick up a Dead Man's this game. After we go Demonic, Leandris. We'll pick up uh, Dead Man's, probably Rabadon. Or just Dead Man's Force of Nature. Or even Dead Man's Frozen Heart. Dead Man's Zanius, perhaps. Very physical damage heavy. If that Jarv knockup didn't hit me, he dies and I live. Because his R was already down from killing my teammates. Very, very, very unfortunate that I didn't dodge that. This dragon is the most annoying one to take because it slows you per auto attack. It makes it risky if the enemies are messing with you. Jinx is going to try to steal it with R because they buffed her R patch or two ago. Got it. Ooh, send a panic flash a little bit there. I don't think we're even going to be able to kill her. She must not have a nearby teammate. Uh, this is kind of weird. Yeah, my R got wasted there. I thought Draven was going to be able to follow up, but he was doing something else. Jarv is getting some crazy value right now. Some super, super high value. I need to get my mana back. Got Annie with the E. Run her down with Q. Smite the Senna into W. She's trying to get the reset off me here. She's almost got it. Nice. It's big. Jax just needs to jump to me. I'm giving him something to jump to here. I'm really low. I don't have the HP to really stick in that five. Jinx was two full item. I would have been dead. She wasn't able to get consistent crits since she's only one full item right now. Having movement speed from Cosmic goes a long ways in those type of kind of uh, footsie fights. You're muscling for position. Ranged grappling, if you will. <laughs> she knew Jax was going to kill her, so she's trying to pinch me off. But I'm deterred that won't flush. That's what Lily is all about. Auto attack Q. Maybe I can get this. 
would love to get me a blue buff. Yeah, I'll take that. Jax needs to get this since he's the one who did most of the work. I'll attack Q. Yeah, they're pushing that down mid right now. I'll just let him have it. I kind of need to come over here anyways. Oh, no way. I missed. Feels bad. Missed the center on the big one. That's not what I want. Auto Q. Toss that over the wall. I can't follow it up. Like, I could R, flash the wall, kill Annie, but then I'll die. So, it's not really worth it. I'll be burning so much just to trade one for one against someone who has to recall anyways. Me dealing damage was kind of enough to force her to back. Our biggest win con right now is definitely me and the Jacks. Draven's struggling immensely, and I don't think this Renata knows how to play Renata. <laughs> she has one assist out of 14. So I don't know what's going on there. One, one assist out of 14 kills on our team. Yeah, she's doing too much of that. Too much standing still. Get my E down. Ooh, I got the Shen. I don't know why Jax ran out like that, though. That's pretty frustrating. Spam some abilities. Wake him up. That was a free double if Jax didn't run like that. I don't know why he did that. He panicked so hard. He must have the full team on mute. I need some uh, Prance here. I'm keeping up the vision. Thing about Lily, you have to constantly be consuming. Keep your prance up. Got some prance over here I can grab. Yeah, I'm at four. Good luck chasing, guys. Keep it up off that. Senna eats an E. That's good. Got some more right here. Jarvin's looking for something. Oh, he smited it. Alright. He hasn't finished his jungle item yet. It's a little surprising. My laners are really far out of position. And I am out of Prance. There's not much I can do here. Other than that. Got with the smite W. Get it with the Q. I just be dead here. Eh, yeah, I'm dead. Jarvin still had R. I can't believe they're doing that type of chase. Jax is sitting top. That was really, really close. We got the uh, Jinx Flash plus Shen R. So at least we got something. We can get Demonic here. It's a lot of max health damage and HP. So to show, give you an example, so we're at 50 ability haste, which is kind of the sweet spot. It's really the first 20, really good. Then 40, pretty solid, and then 50. It's kind of like that cutoff area. But if we got more ability haste, for example, so instead of having 33 right now, we would have 43. So we got 10 ability haste out of, like, 20. Or 10 CDR out of 20. So you see the conversion starts to get way, way worse. That's why you don't... It's fine to rush the first 40, but after that, you don't really need to focus your build towards that. I will go for Leandre's next into a dead man's. So will be really, 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 really strong. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Do not reset on me. I would rather not get into a smite fight. That's a big art. That's a dual R there. Yeah, every, they're all going to die here, I think. Ooh, just got the smite on the Jinx. I'm moving very, very fast. Auto attack Q, down she goes. I don't know why Jax ran that way. I was already moving faster than Jinx. But uh, I have the damage output. I mean, Jinx has two full items there. Like, look at my items. I'm two full item, right? And partials. She's two full item and I guess D blade because like, we're both tier two boots. I guess my partial is a heavy stack dark seal, which is the te technically costs less than D blade. But obviously it's giving more value than D blade since it's kind of stacked up. 
I guess at the time it was a seven dark still when I was fighting her. Jax isn't helping his dragon because he figures I don't need it. Draxel is definitely our win con right now. I did chase a little bit, but I got a lot of value. Finishing off the Shen's big. Killed the Senna. Damaged the J4 a lot. This is mainly the Jinx I didn't get on. Oh, that's huge. Oh, okay, never mind. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> Dang it. Come on. His R is already back up because he has freaking 50 ability. He's off two items, just like what I did. I did it off Boots and Cosmic. He did it off his uh, Gorgink and Cleaver. Obviously, Cosmic Drive and Lucid's being way cheaper. Not worth it. I should have just kept running. I guess now we know every single time we fight him, his R is going to be up. You can go for Jack Show. None of them really went. F well, the Jack Show could be it this game, actually. They're not that tanky. She just doesn't have armor pen yet. Well, I can't decide. I could see the upsides in both because Annie is Sork, Senna did go lethality the same time. Leandre's is going to give me way more damage since Jack Show does zero damage. Javen getting bursted. He, he needs to hit Tibbers, man. Tibbers is going to crack his head open. Tibbers is legit stronger than Annie, no cap. Like just He's just straight up stronger than her. I see you. I see you. You're dead. Goodbye, Annie. Chase you down from across the map. I don't really know where people are at, so I'm just going to fake run away. I do not want to get caught out. I just lost all my prants. Damn. It's one thing I don't want to do. Losing the prants. Lily does a decent job of tanking. Because of her passive heal. Gets them stronger and stronger as the game goes on. Jack's on the split. They have nobody to match him. The only person who can match Jack's in a split push is a Fed Trindomir or Nasus. I don't think Fiora can even really do anything about it. I didn't hit anyone with my Q there. Hopefully Draven's not bad. I need to keep my prance up though. I gotta hit something. I'll just smite that down and run away. Mm, I mean I can back for Leandre's here. It's probably the move. And he's looking for something weird. I don't know what the heck she thinks she's doing, bro. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I think she knows. Oh, this is I can't I can't follow that. There's too many of these guys. I landed a big E. Annie seems pretty tilted, not gonna lie. Hey Annie. She's kind of dodging things. I don't know. I can't tell if she's trolling or lagging or like what's happening there. That was wonky as heck. Down they go. I think that's GG's. We're gonna get Drag Soul off that G increased gold advantage. I'm on a pretty big power spike. They don't have a good answer for what I'm doing right now. I think their comp relied too much on Annie, to be honest. She's their only AP. She's the weakest player. She just kind of counterbalances the Draven Renata. Every team has a counterbalance, and it's just a matter of with how you structured your comp, how important is the weakest player on your team. And in this case, they needed their best player to be the Annie. She's their only AP. She has the most important CC for holding me still. She's the only one who can do it without having to land a skill shot, really. Because if Jarvan EQs in and then just R's me alone, if I position properly, it's not even really worth it for him because he can put himself so far out of position that his teammates can't even really follow up on it. I would love to back here. I am sitting on a... Mesh as well, so I'll be moving even faster since it's 10 stack. Only get Mesh if you're on 10 stack Dark Seal, and only do it if you're at least two full item on Lilia. Other mage junglers are more reliant on Mesh, but Lilia really isn't. You don't have to get Mesh at all on her. 
I like it though for the movement speed, higher carry potential. Moving 437 without any prance and with prance for we are moving nearly 600. Once I have dead man, that'll be like 625 ish, I think. Very fast. not want to lose my prance it's like we're gonna get soul here from my teammates taking it it's perfect throw that over couldn't seem to find anything with it nice teammates got dragon soul jinx is on three item i think she should have gone for not that i don't know she needs something else Something stronger. Hello, Shan. Get him with the QW smite. Hello, Annie. Get her with the QE. Yeah, nice try. That's hilarious. You guys are so fast. <laughs> it's like, bruh. It's like people on foot chasing a car. <laughs> Triple dipple prance, baby. Oh. Oh, I'm a kind of out of juice here. That was a huge Renata R. Absolutely enormous. That's GG's. 10 3 10. Not a bad score. We'll look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, enemy champions, we had the most in the game at 28,000. Second highest, basically. Number two and three were at 23,000, so pretty close. A lot of high damage across the board. Damage taken. We were up there, not quite the most, but most on our team. Shen had us beat out by 3k. For self mitigated, I'm assuming it was Shen, Jarvan, then me. Okay, it was Jarvan, Shen, then me. Close enough. And for runes, high value. All in all, Lilia Jungle, 100% viable. She never really falls out of the meta because. Her clears are great. High HP clears, 315 full clears. And she's got the scaling. Just need to learn how to position and constantly keep your prance up. Keeping the prance up is integral integral to winning on her. If you do not keep the prance up, she is a F tier champion. If you keep it up, she's basically S plus tier. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.